What's going on, guys? You can hear? It's my boy Danny on the phone right now. Say something. <laughs> Anyways, we're... <laughs> We're ready to go out and do some pan fishing again. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. Today I'm gonna talk about my arsenal. Danny, be quiet. Anyways, today I'm gonna talk about more of like my arsenal and what I like to throw, why I have these kind of setup on deck, uh, just a more detail of like what I like to do, what I like to use, and how I use it basically. So uh, he's almost here. Let's get on the water. That's most important. We only have like four hours to fish. So I'll see you guys when we get on the water. Peace. And you'll see Danny. Oh, yo. It's not, it's fine. It's not bad. It's light line, so it's not bad. Oh, got him! Dang. Dang. Look at that. Whoa, <laughs> it's so nice, dude. But I'm not keeping any today. Dude. Yeah, they get bigger. Yeah. Jeez. That's nice, right? Yeah. So we're right on top of it. Keep jigging, keep jigging. Go all the way down. At the bottom. That is a beautiful crappie, my boy Danny, but we're gonna let it go. Mm. All right, so, all right, so Danny is in charge of uh, finding the fish for me today. I don't know why you and trust me. I'm going to uh, talk about my setups. Like I said in the intro, it, this video is gonna be more of us. We will catch fish too, right? You see that, but we're gonna talk about our setup. This right here is the new PC Fun Alumix. Right, 1000, you see that's a beautiful reel. It's that purple, like that shiny finished purple uh, with black accent, with silver accent too, you could say that. I got it on the Fenwick 6.9 light action. This is the finesse rod. They don't make these anymore, I believe. Uh, they just came out with it like last year and I picked up two because I liked it that much. This is like my white bass, crappie, and any everything, right? I caught flats with this rod already. So this is my go-to carry around, run and gun, look for fish kind of combo if you guys are in the market for looking for a great reel and like a whole setup like this make sure you guys check it out pieceoffun.com use my code dy15 so this is the first combo and we'll go to the next one so what i have here right what i have here danny shadows in a way but <laughs> just kidding bro so what i have here piece of fun carbon x 500 with four pound test uh, keep in mind, all my pan fishing setup is literally three or four pound test. This is a four pound test. This is my vertical rod, okay? It's a shorter rod. It's a six foot. I want to go five foot, but I can't find a five footer. I jig with it. I vertical fish with it a lot for pan fish and, you know, rock bass and crappie and stuff like that. Just know that this is my run and gun go-to first TFO setup with the Pissifon Carbon X 500. And I absolutely love this rod for vertical jig when I'm out on the boat. So that's the, this is the second setup. The next one is the big brother, right? I call it. This is the 6.6, right? Both of these are ultralight. Uh, this is the 6.6, 500, right? Size 500. Make sure you use my code DY15. Save yourself some money on pieceofun.com. But this is the TFO rod, trout panfish rod. This is more like my whip it uh, with tungsten and slowly jig it back, you know, like retrieve and jig at the same time, trigger some bite. They're very similar in action. I guess you could say the 6.6 has uh, like a little tiny bit more backbone, but overall, they're both perfect for what I do. I love them. They, they're just amazing, okay? This is my setup right here. And again, guys, a lot of my combos here are very affordable. I don't have anything fancy. I don't think so, at least. <laughs> so this next combo here is, again, piece of fun Carbon X2 1000, four pound test. This is my float rod, okay, for crappies and bluegills. This is on the St. Croix Panfish Rod series. And look at that. I absolutely love this rod. This is a seven footer, a little longer. That way I could whip bobbers and plastic, bigger plastic, you know, when I'm jigging for crappies and bluegills. Uh, this is the combo that I like to run. You see it's a little beefier than the TFOs, but again, a nice backbone, sensitive tip. Um, I can whip lighter lures further with flight lines. Again, four pound test is on here. This is like my distant float bobber rod. You guys can see that. So uh, that's the fourth setup. Yeah, Danny got the first one. So that's the fourth setup. And then, so this is like my second vertical jigging rod. You can see here, again, piece of fun, Carbon X 500, four pound test. Uh, this is like my vertical jigging, heavier tungsten. Uh, I do tie a leader on here, like six pound test, just in case I get into like uh, woods and rocks and stuff like that, so I don't break off. Other than that, this is the 13, right, fishing rod. It's a shorter rod. This is my five footer, I believe. Yep, five six. This is my five six, fast action, ultra light. Uh, this is like my backup, you know, I leave it on the side in case like I break off with the lighter one. That's what it's for. It's just to be there just in case I break off and drop it back down. And then 
to finish it off this right here is my you can say a little bigger profile swim bay rod for crappies and bluegills i got the 2000 on here this is the alumix piece of fun alumix 2000 the new one this is actually my 74 sierra rod from dobbins trout and panfish it has a meteor backbone for you know bigger fish in case i catch like a walleye or white bass whatever shorter bus section see that right there it's a beautiful setup this purple will go well with that blue on dobbins right there yeah this is the the last setup that i carry so i carry about danny got one two three four five six yep i carry about six setup for uh, pan fishing i think i have another one but uh, i don't know where it is right now i can't really think if you guys are curious this is what i run on my boat again usually i just use these two right here and it may be my run and gun uh rod that danny has right there yeah i thought i'd tell you guys about these uh, if you guys want a more in-depth video like rod review real review or whatever uh, i can do that too but just know that this is my these are my babies right here so let's get to fishing it's getting late uh we gotta get something happening here so stay tuned here, here. Yeah, don't lift it. it's only four pound test yeah just bring it to the net bring it to the net oh my god dude that's a nice crappie yeah that's a good one that's a good e right there you, just, you felt the hitter right yeah you're just gliding it back and boom yeah. oh it popped off that's Gold. Damn, Danny got a nice freaking crappie, bro. Let me block the light. <laughs> yeah. Good dude. job, dude. Nice. Heck yeah. We're gonna release this, so. Can I get a picture of it? There it goes. Beautiful crappie. Yep. Well, I was talking. Catch and release. Beautiful fish. See ya. Wow. Oh, he's coming to look. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's right on me. I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, I got him. Wow. What is that? It's a crappie. I think. Oh, no, it's a big bluegill. Look what how big it is. What the heck? Yeah, look. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> what the heck? That thing's on steroids, Yeah, dude. I told you, bro. They're huge. What yeah. the heck? Exactly what I was telling you about. Wow. That's look so how pretty, big that dude. Is, Catch your really Oh, jeez, buddy. You see what I mean? <laughs> They're huge, bro. And they get bigger. That's like a nine inch right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a big bluegill. Oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> Look at the air on that thing. You see what I mean, bro? Isn't that crazy? It's all yours. Just hold it low. Look at that. We can measure. It's like a nine incher, dude. Yeah. Dude, GoPro does not do any justice, bro. Look at that. I unhook it one time. We're looking at almost nine and a half, so nine and i can't really see it oh yeah nine it's nine and something yeah. all right catch your release crazy. Good job. Well, I, can't even palm this I know hold on, hold on. Yeah. dude that's crazy oh my god oh, Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> Got one, that's why. Wow. I got one, that's why. Oh, I got one too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice, dude. It's a good one? Yeah, that's a good one. They fight so hard. Oh, it's a rock. Oh, it's a crappie. Nice. <laughs> Swing it. Man, double up, dude. Wow. So Wasn't cool. paying attention. I got one. Danny got one. We all got one. Vane got one. Wow. I ain't never seen a bluegill this big before. Until the walleye yeah, slime. That's crazy. It's gotta be nine something. It has a longer tail. Yeah, right at oh nine and a half. Damn, nine and a half. <laughs> Show me, Daddy. Damn. All right, right catch there. and release. Wow. This is crazy, bro. Just release it up here so I can see it. Yeah. Crazy, right? I'm gonna have to put that lab you on, dude. I'm not getting bit with a straight tail at all. Hey. Nine and a half. Wow. Back she goes. <laughs> How's it recording, but dude, look at this. We double up. Man, it's so lame. My freaking GoPro shut off again. All right, catch and release. Just a good, good fish piece. You should take a picture of that one. It's okay. Wow. Dang it. Holy man. All right, catch and release. 
That's a mess. Dude, man. I just caught another one, man. That's a mess. Dude, I'm like not recording at all today, but anyways, Danny. So what happened was Danny cast into my line, bird nest me, and I'm like trying to clean the screen. Look at this. <laughs> nice crappie going yeah, back. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> I saw that. That was so cool, dude. Just let it fall, right, dude? That, that one's tugging. Is that a crappie? Uh, a That's a crappie, dude. Oh, That's it's a bluegill, blue yeah. Dang, oh my gosh, yeah, huge, so though. Cool, <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> and this guy didn't want to come fishing with me today. Never. <laughs> Never. Wow, this teeth is sharp, dude. Look at that. Beautiful. On that Labby. Labby 2.0, man. Wow. Catch and release. Look at that. All quality. Dude, you're way off, bro. Yeah, no, that's why that cat's wrong. Got him. Ooh. That's a bluegill. Jeez, man. Dude, look how big this thing is. Oh my gosh, dude. Look, bro. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the ear on that thing. Dude. This is insane. Look at this the fact they're just so tall. Bro, nine and a quarter, bro. Goodness. Sheesh. The big ones go back. Nine and a quarter. My goodness. Danny's on, guys. Yeah. What you got? It's a nice one, dude. That's a good one. It's a good fighter. Oh, it's a nice crappie. That's why. That's a nice crappie. Oh, dude. That's nice. You need the net? Swing, man, right? Swing it. Swing it. Swing it, bro. Oh, my God. You're going to break my rod. <laughs> that was a terrible swing. Wow. <laughs> it was like, eh, eh, eh. Nice, dude. That's a good one. All good eats, bro. Look at that. All right, catch and release. Jeez See ya. Christ. Throw it. Huh? Oh. Pop. Got him. What? Big old crappie, dude. <laughs> dude, look at this crappie, bro. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Dang, that's what it was, eh? Stop! 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 Chill. That's what it was. Yes. <laughs> yep, but we're not keeping any today. On the fall too, bro. Well, on the fall? Mm -hmm. Goodness. All good eats right here. <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna let it go. Got him, got him, got him. Yeah. Y'all just dragging it next to the boat. It's a bluegill. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Dude, look. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Bro. Look at that, Danny. <laughs> it's so big. We got one too? Oh my goodness. Stop. Big ones go back. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, you so lost. 